Jeremiah 17, 7 through 8. But those who trust in the Lord will be blessed. They know that the Lord will do what he says. They will be strong like trees planted near a stream that send out roots to the water. They have nothing to fear when the days get hot. Their leaves are always green. They never worry, even in a year that has no rain. They always produce fruit. Trust is the basis of every relationship. It binds families together, it binds minor unions, and it strengthens relations between people. However, once broken, it takes effort, time, and patience to repair trust. For the purpose of this lesson, we may delineate trust into the following central themes. Trust in God, the beginning of wisdom, Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. This text positions trust in God as the beginning of all wisdom. Furthermore, such trust must be undergirded by total submission to Him, so that all our plans may be brought to fruition in accordance with His will for our lives. Trust as the antidote of fear, Psalms 56 verse 4. Often we are fearful of the unknown. This fear permeates throughout our lives and represents itself as a barrier to progress and development. Psalms 56 verse 4 positions trust in God as a tool by which we are to overcome fear. By implication, when we trust God wholeheartedly, though fear may arise, we are not perturbed. We remain steadfast in the knowledge that God in whom we trust will not fail us. Our trust in God is our shield and protection. The workplace and school can be an environment of daily challenges, some of which call into question our very sanity and patience to endure. In this instance, our trust in God gives us the mental clarity to serve faithfully, respectfully, and wholeheartedly. Consider the sensitive nature of trust and ask yourself, is it possible to remain loving and humble in a situation or an environment where trust is compromised or questioned? 